Ruto have come out to defend the president from claims by Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwe that Ruto sanctioned the impeachment of his deputy. Majority leader Kimani Shungwa termed Gashagwe's claims as sympathy-seeking gimmick meant to set up Mount Kenya MPs against the region. And as Apollo Kamau reports, Gashagwe, who toured Limuru County on Friday, asked leaders to shun politics and focus on service delivery. Following Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa's explosive revelation that President William Ruto has sanctioned his impeachment, President Ruto's allies have come to the defense of the president, terming the remarks by the Deputy President as a sympathy-seeking gimmick meant to set up MPs from the Mount Kenya region against the people. The leaders adding that no MP has collected signatures to impeach the deputy president. As a leader of majority, I can tell you there has never been an any impeachment motion against the deputy president. That has been his creation and those that he walks around with is a sympathy-seeking gimmick to try and incite people from the Mount Kenya region and more so against members of parliament. It's upon our boss, President William Ruto. During an interview with Citizen Television on Friday evening, Gashagwa told President William Ruto to call his house to order, wondering how the impeachment meetings were taking place at the nose of the president. It's upon our boss, President William Ruto, to call his house to order. Have you spoken to the president? Yes, I've talked to the president several times. And, and I've asked him to call his house to order. Yeah, he's here to do it, and I trust he'll do it, because how can people be meeting possibly at this time to discuss how to impeach a deputy president when the country needs a lot of work to be done? Um, 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 be a president drop out to keep your house in order. How can you do that? Experience is important. On a different of official secrets act, you cannot go to TV and expose what happens that the president has told you something directly. It is wrong. After touring Wakulima Market, home to thousands of traders from the Mount Kenya region on Friday, Gashagwa flanked by his allies, toward Limuru, Kiambu County on Saturday, where he told Ruto allied MPs to lower political temperatures and instead serve the people. Na sisi tunamweshimu rais, tutaendelea kumweshimu na kumunga mkono. Lakini tukiendelea na hiyo, tunaendelea kutafuta marafiki kila pahali. Kwa sababu hatutaki watu ya mlima Kenya kukape keyao. Tunataka tutafute marafiki kila pahali. Na ile sisi tunataka kuuliza wajumbe wetu wapunguze siasa warudi kwa kazi. Hii ni wakati ya ka? Hii ni wakati ya kazi. Ukiguza rigiji umeguza mulima. Tigo. Ukiguza rigiji umeguza mulima. Na mimi nimesema vile alisema jana. Si mlimuona kwa TV? Si aliongea ukweli? He's a truthful man. Rigiji tutatembea na wewe kila mahali. Wakati mulinjua ya kwamba tunajua vile mumefanya ukarabati ya bei ya majani chai. Mulisema rigadhe wagashagwa. Ako na kampuni ambayo inaitisha shiringi tatu kwa kilo ya majani chai. Tunataka juma tatu mutoe ushahidi ya kwamba rigadhe wagashagwa ameingilia bei ya majani chai. In Nairobi County, where Gashagwa's key ally Embakasi Northern MP James Gakuya has expressed interest in the city's 2027 gubernatorial race, Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja fought back, saying he will not allow Nairobi to be micromanaged by the Deputy President. <laughs> There will be order in the city of Nairobi. Rest assured. We will do things the right way. And we will take care of everybody's interests in a fair manner. When I put a man on an inch, at his own mission, at his own mission, is not responsible. So many rumors going around the market that he says there's still going to be relocation of the market. 
And that is why people sought the support of the deputy president to come and reassure them that there was, no, there was going to be no relocation of the Marikiti market or the Akulima market. And that is why we had those meetings yesterday. There's nothing political about it. It was just an affirmment that Marikiti is here to stay. Wakulima market is not going, traders are not going to be relocated, and there was nothing political about it. Apul Kamau, TV 47.